Hi, I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, featuring Taylor Dent. Um, Taylor, I just wanted to know, how is it being a new father? It's exciting, you know, I can't, uh, right now it's, it's pretty much Jenny's work, you know, she's kind of holding the baby and feeding the baby, but I can't wait till he's, you know, six, nine months old and I can start roughing him up a little bit. That's really, <laughs> that's really exciting with he became just a new father. He's yeah, no, it's boy. exciting. It's it, it's been pretty easy. You know, I think we've been very lucky. He's he's great. You know, he doesn't cry at all. Only when he's hungry, he's like his mom like that. You know, so. <laughs> no, but it's been great so far. Yeah, um, I was just curious, where do you get your tennis news? Since we're tennis now. And we My tennis, tennis news. Well, apparently, I'm going to start getting it from tennis now. I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And are you looking forward to being here in Houston? No, it's it's great. I love Houston a lot. I've I've played here many times, and uh, you know, even though even though the tournament's on clay, which is my least favorite surface, you know, I always come out here, fight hard, and do my best. That's great. That's great. So, who are you playing first? Do you know? I play a gentleman named Zabalos. He uh, he's a clay court guy. He's gonna like it out there a lot, and you know, but if I go out there and serve well, hit my short balls well, I should uh, be tough to beat. Well, I hope so. I can't wait to watch you. All right. Well, good. Better be there loud. So, Taylor, what do you do differently now that you just had back surgery? Um, well, what I do differently, you know, my back requires me to do some exercises. You know, just make sure my stomach's strong, my back's strong. And, uh, you know, I have to ice every so often, but nothing crazy, nothing, nothing outlandish. I mean, it, you know, it's the problem I had in my back was bone. So it's not like I'm going to get the bone any, any stronger by exercises. You know, it's just, uh, it is how it is. Um, but as far as my game, you know, I've, I feel like my uh, change of style is actually helping my fitness and helping me stay a little bit more injury free because before all my focus on fitness was sprinting forward time and time again so when I did get caught at the baseline having to run side and side side to side my body wasn't really used to it but now I feel like I'm, I'm used to it and I'm, I'm fitter than I you know ever have been before. So Taylor I was wondering how's your game today? I'm playing differently. I'm, I'm not as consistent and as solid as I was back then, but again, that's because of my game change. Um, you know, when I had the second opportunity to play professionally again, I asked myself, well, what do I want to do? If, if I want to, you know, win some big time tournaments and beat guys in the top 10 consistently, then it's going to require me to play a different style of game. If I want to get top 50, maybe top 40, then I can, you know, still serve and volley and still, you know, just play the same old style. And, and so, you know, putting it in perspective like that, I said, well, shoot, you know, I've got the second lease on life. I'd like to have a chance to win some big titles and I want to have a chance to beat guys in the top 10. So that means not serving and volleying quite as much and hitting, uh, you know, waiting one more ball, hitting a short ball and following that in. So that's you know where I am right now. I'm just working on refining that style of tennis. It's still a very aggressive attacking style of tennis, but uh, it's just uh, not serving and balling as much or chipping and charging as much. Out of curiosity, did you ever think you were gonna be able to play again? No, I was told, I actually had the surgery just for quality of life. I was told if I had the surgery, it would pretty much guarantee me to not play tennis again. But uh, I was getting, to the stage where I'd have to be laying down in bed for half the day, you know, because my back was hurting so bad. And then after the second surgery, the doctor said, you know, you should just give it a shot and see what happens. So, you know, I gradually uh, stepped up uh, training and, and playing tennis, and I haven't really had any problems. You know, my back's always going to be a little bit stiff, but uh, the, the pain or discomfort that I feel now compared to what it was before I had the surgery is just, you know, nothing. It's non existent. I still feel like I'm still getting back, you know? <laughs> it just, uh, these guys are playing at such a high level that it takes a long time to, to get fit and, and to get consistent. So I still feel like I'm in the process of getting back. Well, we really love your style. And yeah. It's great to see you. It's, it's definitely, it's changed a little bit, but I'm still, uh, I'm still attacking. I mean, I'm not going to beat these guys by, by outlasting them from the baseline and, and you know, hitting inside out forehands till I'm blue in the face. So. Um, I'm not serving volleying quite as much, but I'm definitely uh, attacking and coming in and trying to finish everything at the net. So, I know you've been to a lot of tournaments, Taylor. What's your favorite? Favorite tournament's got to be the U.S. Open. I mean, the crowd, uh, as an American, you know, a lot of our crowds in, in tournaments are very reserved, very polite, and they just, you know, enjoy coming out. But uh, at the U.S. Open, people start drinking, getting rowdy, and it gets loud. And it's one of the, it's one of the tournaments on the year where 
you know, the foreign guys, whenever they play an American, they go, oh, like, you know, so it's fun to, you know, get it back a little bit. This is Lauren Lynch wrapping up with Taylor Dent, and you're watching Tennis Now.